In today's video, we're going to tell you how to change the WordPress theme without breaking your website or losing your files and database. Website owners often change their website themes when rebranding or when they feel that the present theme isn't setting the right tone for their business. Meanwhile, others do it to switch to a more SEO and user-friendly interface. Whatever your reason may be, changing your site theme can help drive growth to your business. But taking the wrong steps can impact your site's ranking, prolong any downtime, or even completely lose your website content. Learn to properly plan and prepare before taking the steps to change your website theme. Here are things to do before changing your WordPress theme. First, if you have customized your website by adding code snippets directly to your present themes functions.php files, then go through these files and copy any additional code you've added. Also check if your sidebar has any important content, such as social links, advertisements, subscription or contact forms that you want to keep in a new theme. Don't forget to copy any analytics tracking codes that you may have added directly in the theme files. Overlooking these codes can impact your website. Next, check your website speed. This will help you compare the differences in load time and optimize accordingly once your new theme has been installed. Page speed is an important factor in user experience and SEO. Speaking of user experience, keeping your website in maintenance mode while making changes is also important. If you are a Bluehost user, you can easily do it from your WordPress backend. Just go to your Bluehost dashboard, click on Settings, and enable the Coming Soon page. Lastly, make a full backup of your website, so you can always retrieve your files and database if anything goes wrong. Here are some simple ways to backup your website. For Bluehost users, log into your Bluehost panel and go to the Websites tab. Now click on the Settings button of the website where you'll be making changes. Next, go to the Backups tab and click on Install Code Guard if it isn't installed yet. Then, click on Run Backup Now. Alternatively, you can also use auto backup WordPress plugins like Jet Backup or Duplicator. Or you can backup your site manually by storing your website's files on your device or in a separate hard drive. After you have made a backup of your website, it's now time to install your new theme. To start, go to your WordPress dashboard, navigate to the Appearance tab, and click on Themes. Click on WordPress.org Themes button to install a new theme. If you have downloaded the zip file of the new theme, click on the Upload Theme button. Then, choose your theme file and click on Install Now. Or well, you can customize your new theme in two ways. The first method is using the Live Preview option. To start, go to the Appearance tab and click on Themes. Now go to the theme you have just installed and click on the Live Preview button. Here, you can adjust the theme settings, colors, fonts, and customize it as per your needs. After you've made all the changes, click on Activate and Save. Check your website and make necessary changes if needed. Now for the second method, go to Appearance tab and click on Themes. Find your new theme and click on the Activate button. Go to your website to check if the theme is working properly. If you want to make any changes, click on the Customize button from the top navigation bar. Or go back to WordPress panel, navigate to Appearance tab, and click on Customize. Make the necessary changes to the themes and hit the Publish button to save. Next, you can turn off the maintenance mode and make your website live. But before that, we suggest you take these steps to ensure optimal site performance. First, check if all the functionalities, plugins, and widgets are working properly. Invest some time to test everything, from posts and pages to comments and images. Also test your websites on different web browsers to ensure your website looks good everywhere. After checking all the functionalities, add your analytics and AdSense tracking code to your website. Once done, publish your website. If you're a Bluehost user, go to your WordPress backend. Then, navigate to your Bluehost dashboard, click on Settings, and disable the Coming Soon page. Now, test your page loading speed and compare it to the load time of your old theme. At this point, you can also add widgets like related posts, popular posts, and subscription forms to make your website more user-friendly and easier to navigate. This will reduce the page bounce rate and increase its views. And there you have it. Now, you know how to change a WordPress theme without breaking your website. Remember, changing your website theme can have a significant impact on your business. Follow all the steps carefully and test everything before making your website live again. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our channel for more WordPress-related tutorials.